we're learning that major depression, major depressive disorder, has correlations with what is happening in the gut. Similarly, what we're seeing is in Alzheimer's disease, as well as a number of other neurodegenerative diseases, things that we would have thought were only happening up here in the brain, that there are these very clear patterns emerging as to what is happening in the gut as a function of what is happening in the gut microbiome, which is the microbes living in our GI tract and primarily in our colon, but also as a function of all these other metabolites, these other molecules that can be found within the gut. So we have kind of collapsed these different universes of our learning in terms of saying, while well, the heart is here, the brain is here, the gut is here, and now we appreciate that what happens in the gut has a dramatic impact on what happens throughout the body. The domain that I'm most interested in is how that changes our brains. The one other thing I'd like to add here is, we have historically looked at the brain as separate from the rest of the body. We believe that what happens in the brain is not necessarily reflective of what happens in the rest of the body. That doesn't make any sense with the current science we have now, but the gut-brain connection is perhaps one of the most potent reasons why we have dismantled this idea that the brain and the body are separate.